to the council for the DP, um, uh, Wakili Masharia. The clips of the then DP Ruto played by your team, could we read it to mean that it's an admission on your part that you're saying, if it was done then by a sitting deputy president, please allow the current one to commit the same uh, at this uh, point. And lastly, the 30% allocation to Ford Kenya uh, in the coalition agreement in ANC, how has it been realized? By the time you are giving us that the wealth of the deputy president was 5.2 billion Kenya shillings that you allege has been acquired for the last two years, did you access the wealth declaration from, from ESCC, number one? Number two, under the NCIC Act and in Mudama's case that the courts ruled, is shareholding part of the definition of the word incitement? Number three, in the matter of Kilifi Malindi Road, do you have any evidence to prove whether it is a private or a public road? And if it is either private or public, can you table the evidence or before the House? Number four, clarification on the issue of Justice Esther Maina. What is, are you telling us that since the deputy president is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, does he, does he, he, does he not have a, 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 a right as a citizen of Kenya not to bring any complaint against any officer, including judicial uh, officers? Finally, on the update in quickly, on 1st October 10, 2024, Cabinet Secretary Mutua. Uh, to ask whether Honorable Mutuza knows the difference between an impeachment motion and a censor motion. And if he does, where does he place his motion? Is it a censor motion or is it an impeachment motion? And what are the thresholds for each of those two motions? If he understands the difference. Thank you.